Now, six months into Russia's invasion, Ukrainians are preparing to mark 31 years of independence from the Soviet rule this Wednesday. But President Volodymyr Zelensky has issued a warning asking the citizens to be more vigilant to more violent Russian attacks over the course of the coming week. We have to be aware of that this week Russia can try to do something special, something hard, something hard. Такий у нас ворог, але і будь-який інший тиждень за ці півроку Росія робила те саме постійно – гидке і жорстоке. He further said that Ukraine must not allow Russia to spread despondency and fear ahead of the 24th of August Independence Day events. Zelensky also referred obliquely to a recent series of explosions that took place in Crimea. On Saturday, a drone had struck a building near the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. However, the drone was shot down. And fresh attacks on the Zaporizhia nuclear plant in southeastern Ukraine have also triggered fears of another nuclear disaster. The Europe's largest nuclear power plant fell under the Russian control in the month of March. But Russia and Ukraine have blamed each other for the recent shelling that has taken place on the Zaporizhia nuclear plant. The strikes reportedly have damaged infrastructure. And on Saturday, a Russian missile hit a residential area in the southern Ukrainian town, not far from the nuclear power station. Now, the attack wounded about 14 civilians. Meanwhile, on Saturday, the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has announced that the United Nations is working with the United States and the European Union to overcome obstacles preventing Russian food and fertilizers from reaching the world markets. Now, Antonio Guterres expressed his hope that the coordinated work between the countries to move grain and other food products out of Ukraine and Russia may contribute to peace being struck between both parties. He also said that more than 650,000 metric tons of food grain and other stuff was ready, has already been exported under a United Nations brokered deal. Now, Ukraine and Russia reached a deal with Turkey on the 22nd of July to restart the Black Sea grain deliveries addressing the major export disruption that had occurred since Russia had invaded Ukraine back in the month of February. The deal was struck with the single aim and that was to resume Ukraine's grain exports which had been cut off since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now further, Antonio Guterres in his visit to Istanbul said that the second part of the package deal is the unrestricted access to global markets of Russian food and fertilizer, which are not subject to sanctions. It has been uh, made clear uh, by the countries that have applied sanctions that they do not, do not apply to food and fertilizers. But of course, there is a chilling effect in the private sector, and there are uh, a certain number of, of obstacles and difficulties that need to be uh, overcome in relation to shipping, in relation to, um, to uh, insurance, and in relation to finance. And I can tell you that we are working hard in order, uh, in cooperation with uh, the US uh, and the EU, uh, in order to be able to make uh, those obstacles being removed and uh, to allow for uh, what we consider is extremely important for uh, the people, especially in the developing countries. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.